Isn't it nice that we're not having rain for a change? <laughs> Yay, sun! <laughs> My name is Brad Dick. I'm with the City of Detroit. Um, I am a group executive mayor's office. I have several departments reporting to me. My home department, where I came from, is General Services Department, and we're over the park system. And I can't say that I had the best job in the city of Detroit working with the parks. So we're going to get things started today so we can get through the agenda and folks can have fun today. Um, first, I'd like to introduce Ken Smith from Faith Redemption Church and Kara McDowell, who's a soloist with the choir. Mr. Smith, Ms. McDowell. Ah, uh, here we go. Can you bow your heads? Father, we just thank you for this day, Lord. And we thank you for the sunshine and the great weather. And Lord, we just invoke your presence today. Come and be with us as we dedicate this area, Lord, for uh, your growth of, of your children and your neighborhood community growth. Lord, we just ask you to bless us today and bless the further proceedings of this service. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory and the power forever. Oh. Great. I'm glad you were here. Otherwise, I was going to sing Row, Row Your Boat. That's the only thing I know. So, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have a Mona come up, but I first want to make some acknowledgments, though. Uh, we have to want to acknowledge the architect for Spackman Moss at Michaels. I thought I saw a rep here somewhere. No, no, okay. Okay. Herb Foundation, their generous gifts towards the park. Uh, Walker Miller, I did see Carla there to go. There she is. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Tetra Tech for the work on the bioswales. Right here. Okay, Greedy in Detroit. Now they're probably out planting oh. trees. <laughs> uh, DEGA, uh, McKenna, Impact Detroit, General Services, Recreation. I saw Erica Hill here with her dog over there to keep the dog off the grass. <laughs> and planning and development other than Maurice. Anybody else here from your department, Maurice? Nice. Thank you very much. Okay, with that said, um, I'd also like to acknowledge WCI Contractors, who I believe is here, right there, thank you. And also, I did see in the audience State Senator Sylvia Santana. Oh, there she is, right there. Thank you so much for coming today, I appreciate it. Okay, uh, Mona, would you like to speak now? Just want to welcome everyone for welcome everyone to the park. Thank you for coming. We will be here throughout the, throughout the festivities. I do have resource guides available for information for all residents that are in the neighborhood. If you would like to start a block club, please reach out to me, and we will be here until the end of the event. 
Thank you for coming. Hello, O'Shea Park. I like to still uh, remember the uh, neighborhood in this community, which is Grandale. Uh, and I have a, a special uh, memory. Uh, I saw my sledge earlier, and we actually worked uh, on an urban farm and an urban garden through Michigan State right here on this property back when I was in the legislature back in 2008. And she uh, showed me a flyer. It was a newsletter that I had... Uh, put in there, which had a picture of me and all the kids growing produce right here on the, the grounds of O'Shea Park. And so this has sort of been a labor of love over many, many years. Uh, many of you know that uh, uh, the city uh, went through some, some changes and, um, you know, the, the grass started growing up in the neighborhood and the, uh, unfortunately the, uh, the rec center closed. And now as we look around and we look about what that new chapter is uh, here in the city of Detroit, um, you know, it's about recreation, it's about opening up these public spaces and turning them into beams of light. And I had a chance to work with many community groups, um, many of them who are here today, uh, who I just um, want to give my appreciation and thanks to, to those here in the, in the neighborhood those here that have lived uh, and, and, and back in the day had to come out with their lawnmowers and, and mow the tall grass and really take care of this property uh, when nobody was. And so now when we walk up the street here on Capitol and we look off of the, the 96 freeway, we, we think about where we're going as a city. You know, it's, it's places like these uh, that really just tell us that story about our history and about where we're going um, as a city. And so. Um, before I, I turn it back over, I just I really want uh, everyone here that's that's involved to just give give the neighbors and the the, the, the organizations that are from this community a round of applause for all of their hard work and dedication uh, to the city of Detroit and to, and to Grandale. And so, um, having much pleasure working with our director of planning and development, uh, Mr. Maurice Cox. We started a number of charrettes at the very beginning of this process, and we really you know, knew we had to listen to the community because this is what this is all about. Um, and we listened to our kids as well. You have to listen to the youth because we, we need to know what they want uh, in terms of you know, places to play uh, and, and to put things you know, uh, for them in this park. And so it truly was uh, all hands on deck approach and I'm just incredibly excited that we now have yet another place, you know, for our neighbors to come and enjoy the outdoors. And while I'm continuing those conversations, working with the administration on a rec center for uh, District 7, um, we know that the outdoor recreation is just as important too. And this is going to give us that opportunity right here in our community. And so thank you, DTE. Thank you, uh, General Services. Thank you, Planning Development. Uh, you know, thank you um, to everyone that helped made this day special and this day possible. Thank you very much. It is uh, a wonderful day in O'Shea Park. I, I have to say it's a, a long, it's been a long time coming for some of the residents here who advocated really hard uh, that this be a park that had a theme, a solar theme, um, and that it would be a place where young people could come and enjoy. So um, I don't know how much people know uh, about this park, but this was a 20-acre park uh, when the neighborhood was full. Every block was full. But as they lost residents, this park became a lot to manage. And so we started looking for partnerships that could help O'Shea be rebranded uh, with something very future and innovative. Um, and so the partnership with DTE was forged. And that solar array that you see is one of the largest solar arrays in an urban neighborhood anywhere in America. And that is a big deal. But the main thing we wanted to make sure was that the park survived and had more life uh, and more focus. And so you see uh, everything from the slab we're standing on is where the gymnasium in the rec center used to be. That stage 
was the stage outside of the rec center. So we tried to hold on to some memory of what was here before, while at the same time adding some new elements, uh, like this um, platform that you can get up high if you got long legs, uh, and look out over the solar ray. Not only there was a real desire to make the park do more, and so you're seeing one of our flagship stormwater park uh, installations that you'll see grow over uh, years and will uh, manage that stormwater. So there's a lot that was going on in the park, but for residents, they also wanted to know, well, what does it mean for them? What's going to stabilize the area around the park? And so uh, Carla Walker Miller and her company uh, and her team uh, did 100 energy audits. All those houses that you can see, some of them got new refrigerators, low, uh, low energy appliances, furnaces were replaced. So we really tried to make this a community-wide effort. So I thank everyone for having the city, holding the cities you know, to their promise to not only just have a utility here, but to bring life back to O'Shea Park. So I feel like this is the park that O'Shea built, that the community built. And we would not be here if not for the tenacity of residents in O'Shea. So I wanna thank you all, I'm looking at some of them. Uh, thank you all for really, really pushing hard to make this a very, very special place. And uh, I want you to enjoy the day. But I want you to enjoy it for many, many years to come. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us here today. Um, the solar panels, uh, we're just so proud to have that have been just a catalyst for everything that Maurice and, every, and Gabe and everybody else have been talking about. Um, 7,400 panels in our project here, which is one of the largest urban solar projects uh, in the country. Um, and on a nice sunny day like this, uh, is generating at full capacity today. About enough energy coming off our panels today to, to uh, service, on average, about 500 homes. So, very successful project for us. We want to do more of them. Um, and uh, we really appreciate and are grateful for the welcome that the community's had for us here. So, thank you very much. I'm standing here today on behalf of my pastor, Clyde Jones Jr. And my pastor believes that every children, every child needs a safe environment to learn, grow, and play. So we had very many meetings. We did years of meetings together, and this is the result of our meetings. But just know that it's very hard to get 100 people in the room and get them to agree on the same thing. And one thing that we all agreed upon was the children needed a place to play. So I thank everybody for all their efforts, the City of Detroit, DTE, and all of the community organizers that got together to make this day uh, come to fruition. And uh, the educational part, we want the children to be able to be solar array experts because they have a solar array in their neighborhood. We want the children to stop being couch potatoes and, and, and uh, you know, curb boy children. We want them to come and run and play and, and, and be in a park. And um, I just thank everybody for all of your assistance to make that happen. Well, I'm going to say, wow, it's been a long time coming. And this is just the beginning of the relationships we've gained in the Plymouth Capital area. I want to thank everybody. I think everybody has already been thanked, but I have some special thank yous. I want to first of all thank Ms. Donna for just being a partner in this, bringing it together with Gabe Leland. I want to thank Ms. Carla Walker. Just special thanks to her for just being a friend. And I definitely want to thank two people who are not here. I want to thank Mr. Rodney Cole and Mr. Ray Solomon. And I wanna thank them because without the four of them, this right here would not be standing. They had our back, they pushed with us, and they made sure that we got what the community needs for our children. Not for us, because we getting older, but for the babies, for little babies like that with my grandbaby Bella with my husband. Hey, Mr. Hart. <laughs> so I just wanna thank all of y'all. And um, this is just the beginning. Y'all have a blessing. If you get a chance, please acknowledge or take a look at our bioretention. Uh, it's going to manage about 1.6 million gallons annually. So we'll be helping bringing in street storm runoff and managing within the bioretention. And we have a beautification. And I also just want to acknowledge 
uh, one of our design consultants, Tetra Tech, and this is Dan. He's an instrumental person for the design of the bioretention. Thanks, Barry. I, I just want to say uh, I hope you all enjoy the, the, the stormwater feature. Uh, we look forward to it uh, maturing in the park. Two, one. Yeah. So you will buy